if you can hear me. I just moved the filter and it changed the entire way this car idles. It was further up like this. Let's see if it'll do it again. Right? I had it further up and it was idling like shit. Are the idle change? It's almost like. Blah, 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 blah. You can almost hear the slight miss. Then if I put the filter back the other way. see the joy drain from my face <laughs> um, as you saw in that last clip I thought it was all good and then I did a little stop thing and it went into limp mode um, so before I go into further detail I should probably explain what it's doing exactly so the car ran fine it ran really well for like 10 minutes after I had moved the filter around but I drove it uh, for like a good 10 minutes straight. It idled fine for 10 minutes. Uh, I did several pulls without it going into limp mode and uh, All of a sudden it went back into limp mode and uh, when it did that it won't idle right it won't um, You know, I can't do pulls without it going into limp mode. So what I did is I unplugged the battery I reset the ECU and it was fine again for another 10 minutes or so like it idled fine It didn't go into limp mode and then just like that again after about 10 minutes or whatever, it just goes right back into limp mode and it doesn't want to idle, doesn't want to run right. And I mean, I can turn it, the car off and turn it back on and it kind of goes away, but it's not 100%. Um, 
maybe the ECU, there's something wrong with the ECU. Um, I don't really know what to think at this point. Maybe the math thing or my filter thing wasn't the problem. Uh, I'm looking into borrowing a throttle body and uh, app sensor from a friend of mine. Um, so I can try that, maybe it'll go away. Uh, there's also the possibility that my math is bad, but I tried a different math already and it didn't seem to make it better, it actually seemed to make it worse. Um, let's see, what else? Could be the position of my math in my intake pipe. Um, what else could it be? Maybe there's another sensor that's bad, like maybe my TPS is bad, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, right now I'm looking into getting my OBD2 port wired properly so that way I can check the codes. If I can check the codes, I probably have already fixed this, but I can't find a way to get a working OBD scanner on any of my Mac products. My phone's a Mac, my computer is a Mac, so I'd have to borrow somebody's computer or phone so I can get the right app for it so I can get the codes read. Um, I'm pissed. If you have any idea on how to get this done properly, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Please message me on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Um, I'm getting really sick of messing with this and it would be awesome if I could figure it out before spring comes. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.